In this short video, you will learn the six golden rules for preparing data frame file with swap directory and how to read Excel file into R. So let's start with our golden rules. First rule, column and row names must be unique. No repetition is allowed. For example, here we have maximum blood pressure and minimum blood pressure. That's the right way to write it. You can't write blood pressure twice. Second rule, delete any empty row in the middle of your table. And if you have any missing data, replace it by zero or an A. For example, here, if there is a missing data, all of them you can replace it with an A or zero, depending on type of your data. Third rule, avoid using space and special character both in column and row names. So all these special characters they are forbidden. Only you can use underscore in the column and row names. Fourth rule, don't start column or row names with the number. So if you need to write a number, you can write it after a letter. For example, here, if you need to write one hour in your column, you can write it T underscore one hour or time underscore one hour. Fifth rule, R is case sensitive. So be aware while writing your variable names. So if you wrote it with small t, you can't access your data with the capital T. Sixth rule, if you have to write dates in your column, write it in a four digit format. So you can write 2020 instead of just 20. So let's move on to work directory. Working directory is the file path on your computer which sets the default location of any file you read into R or save out of R. You can use the get working directory command to check the current working directory and also it's available here. So to simplify this idea, imagine we are in a kitchen and we know that the fridge is the default location of the vegetables. So if we imagine the kitchen is R and our work directory is the fridge and our data is the vegetables, so, normally when you read a file into R to analyze, if it's in the work directory, you don't need to specify where it is. You'll just write file name and R will immediately import it to R. Similarly, if you want to, for example, get a cucumber from the fridge, you don't need to search for where it is. You know that the cucumber in the fridge, you will just open the fridge and take the cucumber. Similarly, when you analyze your file and save it out of R, you, R will immediately save it in the work directory. Again, here in the kitchen, after you cook the vegetable, the common sense location you put your cooked food is the fridge. So if we imagine the fridge as our working directory, you can put and take food without asking where it is. But that doesn't mean that you only can save your vegetable in the working directory. Vegetables like potato, onion, and garlic, they don't need to be stored in the fridge. You can store them here in the cabinet. So you need to know their places so you can get them, which cabinet because there are so many cabinets in the kitchen. Similarly, if you want to import any file not in the working directory, you need to specify exactly where that file is. So the take home message is, if you don't specify the file location, R assumes it's in the working directory. And if it's not, it will give you an error. So let's move on to reading data file. I won't be able to cover all of those. It's a big topic, but I will give you a brief idea on how to read Excel file in R. TXT and CSV format, they are the type of file format that you can import to R without downloading any package because utils package is already installed in R. But if you want to import Excel or Excel X format files, you need to download specific packages. So as a beginner, I suggest you always when you prepare your table or if you import a table with different format, you can convert it to CSV format. So we need to use the read.table function, which read the TXT and the CSV format. This function has so many arguments, as you can see here, but we will focus on the four most important ones. So if you have a file called data.csv, so it's in the CSV format and is stored in the work directory, if you use the read table function and you just write the name of the file, 
so our file is here in the work directory you will import the table but you will import it this way so if we use the structure function to know the structure of our data frame it says here data frame is 11 observations so we have 11 rows and one variable so it's one column so this is not the way we want to import our table to analyze the data in it so what we need to do first we need to specify that this is our column header this is our row names and each comma here means that it's a different column so each column is separated by a comma and also when you import a table to r if it's a character r will recognize it as a factor so you need to specify that it's not so it depends on your data you can use this argument so now we are reading our file again using the read.table function we are writing our file name here then followed by header is equal true so now r is recognizing this as our column header and here we are saying that each column is separated by comma in the data in the previous one so 25 to 34 so you can see here there is a comma so it recognized that we have different columns we use this argument to recognize that this is our row names so here it didn't recognize that one and if for example you are specifying that this this column is a character column it's not a factor so you need to use it equal to false so if you use the structure data you can see here we have 10 observation so instead of 11 now we have 10 because this is the 11th one in the previous one and we have five variables we have five columns one two three four and five also if you don't want to use a lot of arguments you can use the read.csv function so you will just need to specify if your character is a factor or not if you don't want to deal with the work directory you can import your file manually wherever it is or you can specify it by writing where it is exactly so this is up to you and if you want to import excel or xlx files you need to download read excel package so you need to install the package by writing this command and load it into r then you can read it use the read underscore excel function to read your file again this file now is in the work directory thank you so much for watching